I am one of the many scientists that experimented in the effort to discover more about schizophrenia in the human brain. And after many decades, we not only finally have answers, but maybe a cure. With advancements in computer technology and biochemistry, we've figured out that schizophrenia occurs when there is a lack of synaptic plasticity in the brain. This is the process of the synapses changing at the right time and manner in response to surrounding stimuli. Now, we can spot the exact genetic coding that may be responsible for this deficiency. We're meeting with the board of directors now. From there, we can start the discussion of what to do for actual living patients in hospitals and out in the world who may not have to suffer from this disorder any longer. They're reviewing the notes now. We've been discussing findings and the board has been in hushed whispers for what feels like an hour. What did we miss? Is there something- <clears throat> This research is certainly promising. However, this is going to be tricky to actually capitalize on. Capitalize on? These findings suggest that it is possible to genetically correct the biological sequence that spawns schizophrenia, correct? Yes, sir. There might lie a problem. Every country has a variation on the laws of genetic engineering. Many would be adamantly against germline editing. Right, no blanket cures for now, but that still could mean we could treat patients case by case. That's something you'll have to take up with every federal board in every country you attempt to offer these treatments to. The FDA highly regulates any genome-related editing in clinical applications. <sighs> to be honest, this isn't what I wanted to hear. Our options became more and more limited. I figured germline editing, the genetic engineering of sex cells, was off the table. It soon turned into a balancing act between ethics and economics. What would be a suitable way to proceed among the scientific world while also making these operations accessible for patients anywhere. Currently, something like this would only be affordable to certain people and leaves behind those less fortunate suffering with this disorder. So a bargain was made. We'll report our findings and publish them in whatever journals we can find. Then we wake at dawn and approach this from another way. For now, the sheer understanding of this disorder is a landmark victory.